All right, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the update on the fish tank. Before I get back on the road, got some new additions. This rock right here, just about everything on here is new, including that green toadstool. One of the plugs, the one that's underneath the toadstool is old. Um, it's not looking very good. Next time I get home, I'll probably have to take it out. But I'm going to give it a chance to make it back before taking it out. Up top, if I can get it to focus a little bit. Well, anyway, that orange thing in the picture is a mushroom. Might have to move that as well. Thing next to it, I'm not sure what that is. The uh, little brown thing with the flowers coming out, that's a leather coral. It's looking good. The eagle eyes are still doing good. Got a bumblebee snail in the picture. These zoas here are looking good. The rastas are looking good. They're actually yellow and not that green that it looks like it's in, like in the video. The orange ones are looking good as well. The ones that are closed up, I just turned the lights on, so hopefully they'll go ahead and open up a little bit later. On to the next rock. I believe that's a hermit crab. Yep, that's a hermit crab. The black snail looking thing. It's actually a hermit crab. Got an utter chaos zoa that's open. The ones that are closed are the mint Oreos, as I call them. Got a big hermit crab on the back of the rock with some more. Those are actually polys or pallies. But they're looking good. Like I said, I just turned the lights on. So some of these are going to be closed up. Got the pajama cardinal. Hey, buddy. Got the tomato clown and the big Nemo clown. There goes the fire shrimp right underneath the rock behind the clownfish that just moved out of the way. That noose, that cell fin tang that's in the back. I just got it the other day. Got it from Petco. The yellow and purple striped fish is called a purple stri striped dotty back. It's been doing good. It's been in the tank since I've been gone. Up top, you got some more zoas. Like I said, just opened up. Just turned on the lights. These ones look like they're all open except for the blue ones up front. Give it a little bit more time and they'll open up again. I don't... There's the, uh, the black domino damselfish. Just got it the other day as well. Hammers are still doing good. On the back of the glass... You've got the green star polyps and a cabbage coral. The one that's above the coral that looks like a leaf that's closed up is actually a green star polyp as well. The cabbage coral, I don't think it's going to make it. It fell down into the sand bed while I was gone. And when I got home, I tried my best to get it glued back up to the glass. And it has not opened since, so I really don't think it's going to make it. But I'll give it a little bit more time, and hopefully it'll pull off. Got the yellow stick. It's still doing good. Got the green hammers on the snail shell. That right there, the one waving, is some more green star polyps. I got a bunch of these, so as you know, 
the plan is for them to cover up the back glass so eventually I will have to take this one and glue it to the back glass got another toadstool as you can see it's doing good the hammers on the coral skeleton are doing good that thing in the back by the glass is a leather coral my coral lady gave it to me yesterday so it's just getting in the tank it is actually huge I'll take a shot from the from the side so you can see the black later on but as you can see everything is doing good these are gorgonias and they're doing good looks like I got a starfish stuck on one of them you barely see it in the video but it's right there that white thing that's on the gorgonia that right there is called a blasto it is new it looks like it's doing good right now I'll see when I get back home the three mushrooms right here that the clownfish is hovering over there was actually only two when I bought it now there's three this candy cane that's in between the rocks and the cave it looks like it's doing really good as well I'm actually surprised I actually didn't think it was going to make it but it looks like it is getting bigger than what it was when I first put it in the tank I will know for sure the next time I get home got a hermit crab on the rock and right next to it actually there's two hermit crabs but the one that is heading down the rock to the right of it is another hammer this rock right here was my zoa rock as you can see there's still zoas on it but the hair algae is starting to get worse i bought a new rock to try to get some of the zoas off of it and put onto the new rock i also bought a lawnmower blaney hoping that the snails hermit crabs and lawnmower blaney will eat some of that hair algae so i won't have to take the rock out of the tank On the on this white rock right here got some new zoas as well it's a new rock and some of the zoas are actually older I actually had them in the tank before like the one up top that is old it used to be on the blue tray thing with the toadstool so I moved it and put it on this new rock the one to the left bottom in the middle actually is the old zoa so is the uh the one right next to it in the middle that's actually a poly and it's still doing good the one on the bottom that is the spider-man zoa like i said just turn the lights on so they haven't actually opened up yet there is the Seahawks broccoli, the hairy mushroom that the tomato clown likes to host in, got a thing of green star pops next to it, on the skeleton coral, right there, you've got the green polys and a snail that's in the picture. In the back, you still got the green star polyps on the bottom on the sand. Got the orange Gatorades up top. The peanut butter cups are starting to open up. 
Got a thing of eagle eyes in the back. They're doing good. The log rock, as I called it, it's got some new additions to it. As you can see, it's got the green poly on there. It was too small for me to put on the skeleton. Maybe when I get back, it'll have grown a little bit so I can work with it better. Still got the magic mag magicians. And let me see if I can get an angle. On the bottom, you've got some more mushrooms. On this skeleton, you've still got the hairy mushrooms. You got the uh, zoas that haven't opened up yet. You got the toadstool. You got the watermelon mushroom and another mushroom on that skeleton. In the back, I moved the original mushroom rock to a different spot so I could put that white rock that I showed you in its place. The mushrooms that are down lower seem to be doing better than the ones up, that are up top. As far as, you know, the tank is concerned. So I moved these mushrooms hoping that they will start to grow. Got the alien eye in the back. The little purple fish. Um, not sure exactly what the name of that purple fish is, so it's going to be purple fish for today. Got a thing of green star polyps up there. As you can see, the self fin tang is still swimming around. Doing good. Over on the tank. It is doing good. <clears throat> Got a auto top off. That, that's the thing that's hanging on the wall. So that it's easier for my fiance to go ahead and, you know, put water or keep water in the tank. Got a five gallon bucket. The jugs around it are full of water, so all she has to do is keep the bucket full. The hose in the corner is where the water comes out from the ATO. It's auto top off system. But that is the rundown of the of the tank. Let's see if I can get a shot. There is a shot of the of the leather coral. As you can see, it is pretty big. <laughs> There's another shot. Um, it was free, and you know what I do with free things, especially if I don't like them. I put them in the back of the tank. <laughs> Besides, this one was too big to go anywhere else. So I'm hoping that everything will be fine with it back there. Hermit crabs in the back seem to enjoy it. Got a new place to perch. 